in today's episode. How are you doing? Don't have a mama welcome. So today, snow, nice. I hope it won't be a lot of it because I'm going. I'm going into the theatre tomorrow for a meeting, and I'm going to take my bike. So hopefully there won't be masses and masses and masses of snow. It's time for lunch. I'm eating the last of those uh, noodles with leek oil. Oil leek? No. <laughs> leek oil. Is it that? No. Spring. No, not leek. It's not spring onion. It's the other thing. The other thing that you call spring onions as well. Hmm. Well, it's that thing. I'm eating that. So I'm still editing yesterday's video. That was a lot of film. It's it's gonna it's it has to be a two parter. First, me and Ulf going to IKEA and Martin showing up, and then Martin and me and Magnus party. It's taken like forever, but now I'm finally done editing yesterday's videos. First the trip with Ulf, and then sort of the party at Martin. No, at Magnus. Why is it easy to say Martins and Magnus? Je ne sais pas pas. Later today I will be making an African stew. But now, well, I need to do the dishes. Okay, people, it's time for Look Where You're Cooking. In today's episode, we are making a peanut stew. Sounds really weird, doesn't it? But it is a stew with peanuts. But it's not mostly peanuts. Mostly, I would say, it is... Um, tofu so um, yeah let's get to it I'm not going to sort of show you everything because it's just a stew you just throw th free fry things and then you sort of you stew it just do 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 it there's <laughs> a song isn't it so this recipe asked they said some vegan meat vigo chunks and I have frozen and <laughs> thawed and cut up and drained um, or pressed out the liquid out of a pack of tofu. And now I'm going to put some cornstarch here. So it's sort of when I fry them, they will get a nice surface. So I just put two tablespoons of cornstarch here and I'm going to sort of swirl it around and see what sticks. And then I'm going to start frying them while chopping two, well, it's supposed to be one, one onion, but I got two because they were so small and one of the pieces was sort of bad, so it's half onion. So there you go. So let's start by putting some rapeseed oil in a great book, if I can manage that. So hopefully all... Well, most of the cornstarch has stuck to some sort of tofu, and yes, it has. Great. Haste, hate to waste things. So, onion, and I'm also gonna chop up or crush three cloves of garlic. So people, the wok is hot. In it goes. So, the tofu, can you see how bouncy it is because it's just because I've frozen it and thawed it. It sort of turns into, it turns really meaty and sticks together really good. I will now be adding the onion and the garlic. And while the onion and the garlic and the tofu cooks, I have cubed one sweet potato. I peeled a cubed. So later on, I will be adding one deciliter of peanut butter but I also had some peanut butter left in a jar and the easiest way to get that out is to pour hot water onto it. So I put, uh, fill this one with hot water and pour it out into that because I will be adding water to the stew. I'm going to cook some more water and sort of try to get rid of the rest and that, pour that into and then pour that into that if you get what I'm at. I don't know why I'm singing Edith Piaf. La vie en rose. <laughs> like a mad person. So, I got most of it out and the rest I will get with. Oh fuck, this is hot. Ah, 
with a spoon. Or maybe if I poured some of this back. And used a chopstick. Mm, yes, oh yes. Not gonna burn myself again. Yes, I am. Fuck. Yes. And um, when you feel this is done, you add one can of ch crushed tomatoes and one litre of water, one deciliter of peanut butter, two bouillon cubes or two cubes of bouillon, and that um, cubed sweet potato. I'm getting really good at cooking by, with one hand. You know, the naked chef, I'm the one-handed chef. So right now, this stew looks kind of watery, but when it starts boiling, you'll see it thicken up. It, it'll thicken up because all that peanut butter just acts like sort of like or something. I don't know. And then you add a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and one deciliter of chopped peanuts. This says jordnötter for those of you who study Swedish. And jord, it means nuts from the earth. Jord means earth. No, the, well, not the earth, like not the globe earth, but the, well, it does mean that as well. Never mind. In this case, it means the earth that you grow stuff in. So, <laughs> Earth nuts from the earth are earth nuts. Roasted and salted. Now you know Swedish. So just let it boil for about 15 minutes till the sweet potatoes is done. Because that's the thing we're waiting for. And people, when the sweet potato is sweet, I almost said sweet. I mean, when the sweet potato is soft, it's time to serve. So let's do this. I'm going to bring this a bit over here, trying not to spill. So one, oh fuck, two, and then I'm going to fill these. Okay, people. So I'm going to. I've served this with rice. You can see the rice, yes. So now it's time for a taste test. I think it'll be peanut buttery. And fatter. It needs more salt and maybe more cayenne pepper because, yeah, this is really mild. So it's good. More salt, more cayenne pepper. Thank you. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and tell all your friends and family and lovers how fantastic I am and tell them to watch me as well.